You know, if you told me in the year 2020 that I'd be creating titles like these, I'd just call you crazy. But in seriousness, I'm gonna teach you how to create these crazy titles right here in After Effects, several techniques, and we'll jump into it. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel if you're new here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome. We're gonna break down several of these techniques. They're super easy to do, like super easy. So don't worry about it. It seems a little bit complex, but it's really not. It's kind of almost all automated. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And if you don't wanna watch every single technique, please just let the video roll the way through for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me out tremendously and you get to listen to my annoying voice. Let's jump in, let's talk about these techniques, let's go. So if you wanna break down this project file and follow along with us, you can download our free project file, link will be in the description. So we're gonna break down two techniques to get started off with, which is gonna be this funnel and also how to create this. So here we are, all we have in our tutorial composition is a title. That's all we need to start off with, okay? And when you have a title typed out, what we're gonna to wanna to do is come here to the top and grab the rectangle tool, make sure nothing is selected, and I'm just going to draw a banner like this and I want to obviously change it to the opposite color of my title and I'm going to put it underneath my title of course center it up and now what we can do is take both of these layers and we can go up to edit duplicate and we'll bring them above here so we can keep them separated and I'll just bring it you know underneath our first original copy and then what I'll do is I can just invert the colors. I'll change the banner to white and I'll grab our title and I'll change that to black. So we have quick inverted colors. Nice. So we just have this. And what we'll do here is we'll grab all of our layers and we'll go up to layer pre-compose and I'll just call it, uh, you know, banner placeholder. It doesn't really matter what we call it. Just call it a placeholder. And then we'll go back into that composition and we'll go up to composition, composition settings. And we'll just want to close down the height to where we're just zoomed in on the banners and you might need to uh, recenter and then also bring down the width here to just close in on the title. Awesome. So now when you have both of those centered up in the composition, nice and small, you click OK. All right, we'll go back into our main composition and this is what we have. From here, let's go to effect, stylize, and let's grab motion tile. And where it says output width, we'll go ahead and increase that. Where it says output height, we'll go ahead and increase that. Now, nice. Now we have a really cool uh, you know banner in here nothing's animating yet so what we'll do here is we'll add a keyframe for tile center we'll move forward to the end of our animation I'm just gonna say five seconds and I can animate this downwards or upwards or left or right or diagonal you have a lot of options just play the tile center and you can get some unique directions and now essentially this could be one entire technique on its own if you want to add just a little bit more flair to this go to effect distort and we can grab uh, a turbulent displace bring down the amount and increase the size if you want and we come here to like evolution and we can all click the stopwatch and we can type in uh, time asterisk 20 and this will animate it and now you know we kind of have this fluid animation here with our title and it's really unique and this is just this one technique to create in the funnel you don't have to use a turbulent displace to it I wanted to show how to use that because you know these two techniques overlap but this funnel is separate from the one we just created so if you want to create the funnel just turn off the turbulent displays you didn't have to do that that's one separate technique right there all right so all we have here now is just the motion tile animating downward what we're going to do is to create that funnel go to layer pre-compose and we can call this banner funnel ready all right and we'll move all attributes into new composition all right so now let's go ahead and create that funnel let's go to effect perspective and let's grab CC cylinder awesome looks great right you know it kind of almost looks like a roll of paper towels you know I don't know I just see paper towels I'm weird anyway <laughs> let's go to our CC cylinder effect and it's gonna be a rotation and where it says X position we can set it or X rotation set it to 90 degrees and now we're seeing through the funnel here and you know that's cool we'll open up the position and we'll come here to the Z position and we can bring this to the negative value to bring this closer to us. Uh, and we get this. All right. We can also come here to radius here at the top and we get some unique, you know, perspective with this. So we can bring this down and then go back to the Z position and bring it closer. And it kind of just distorts it and just kind of get that in the right spot. So let's see, we have a lot of room to work with here. So right to when obviously, you know, the corners of our composition are covered up. And we can come here to the light and I suggest 
taking a look at that light and shading here you can get some unique looks with this so you can increase the diffuse you know just kind of experiment with how you would like the lighting to be you know completely up to you nothing specific to this but let's move on and obviously we're going to want to come here to the beginning of our timeline and add a keyframe for rotation y go to the end of our animation five seconds in my case and i'll just slightly increase this you know so now we have a really interesting title animation it's kind of hard to read things but we'll work on this uh right now and get it to where you know things need to be so first of all uh let's talk about duplicating this so what we can do is take this layer and we can duplicate it and we'll go back into our cylinder effect and we'll come here to position and you can just come here to z position and just bring that forward you can see we can bring it forward it's just going to stretch this effect out and that's nice and you'll just have to rematch it up the best you can that's fine we can duplicate it again and go to that z position and move it all the way down there definitely creating one awesome roll of you know paper towels man so we can play with a couple settings we can go back into our composition where we have that motion tile effect and we can phase this you know you can bring it down you'll get a unique look it'll automatically update in our main composition you know that's cool you can we can mirror the edges and then maybe refix the phase to be like here so boom that's pretty cool one thing we need to take a look at is here at the top you see we're getting things cut off here and that's because you can see the corners here all we have to do is just hit astron keyboard for scale and we can scale this up and you can also go in that main, that first composition there and we can always uh you know increase the width so we don't have that happen that's another way to uh kind of work around it if you're not happy with the results and you know that should help just fine so we're essentially done but i want to add some more creative effects to this because first of all i don't like how this is all kind of in focus it kind of just it looks really weird so what we can do is go to the second layer here go to effect uh blur and sharpen and we'll add a camera lens blur and we'll set the blur radius to one and make sure you check on repeat edge pixels we'll copy that effect and we can paste it to the top layer which is that last one down there and set the blur radius to two so we're kind of creating this nice out of focus look all right then we'll go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll add some creative effects to this we'll go to effect to store and we'll grab optics compensation and we'll set the field of uh, view all the way up to maybe 60 check on reverse lens distortion and i'll kind of like give this warped perspective looking down there you can always increase it and get some really interesting looks it's up to you we'll go to effect noise and grain and we'll add noise and we'll set the noise up to like 16 percent and uncheck use color noise and now we have this really interesting title funnel it's awesome you know definitely that nice roll of paper towels just this is what it looks like inside that little brown roll you know it's just black and white and it has some titles in it you know they should be creative like that you know what? i want to quit youtube and start a paper towel roll company because the design is quite lacking there's always an opportunity everywhere you look and before we move on to our next technique, I got to talk about how we've created a couple of packs that help you produce awesome work with our After Effects extension. So right here we have our extension, which is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which this template has 500 templates within it that you can apply within a click of a button. You can preview uh, hundreds of titles, tons of motion graphics, and plenty more assets that we have in this pack. You click on apply and automatically applies it to any project you're working on. But we have something called Accent Motion Graphics. And what, simply what these are, are graphics that you can help to enhance your composition so I click apply on asset that I want I can then take this asset and duplicate it around our composition and I can take and change the color and as you can see you can take one object and help spruce it up really quick just out of our pack of 500 elements and of course we have another dedicated pack called the 200 accent motion graphics pack uh, which is just specifically for these accent graphics so if you want to check out any of our packs those links will be below and if you do pick up anything on our website you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right in our last technique which i want to treat kind of as like a bonus technique we're going to create some donuts or a ring or more paper towel rolls it's the future man okay so we'll go into our next composition all right what we have here is I just have a title ready to go that's already kind of clipped down in its own composition like we did in the previous one. I'm not going to show it again to save some time. And I have a white background. That's all we have. So remember, you know, put your title in, cut that composition size up, and bring it into your comp. And what we'll do here is we'll 
go ahead and hit R on keyboard for rotation and we'll set the rotation to 90 degrees. All right, awesome. And another thing we need to do is go to composition and click on composition settings. All right, we're gonna get a little bit wonky here. We wanna set our width to 720, all right? And we wanna set our height to 1920. All right, it's very important that we do it just like that. And then we'll go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab motion tile again. And we'll increase the output width and also the height, you know, go have it go across the composition. And of course, we'll animate the tile center and, you know, go to the end of our animation. We can have it move up like so. And make sure you scale up your background if you have one. And, you know, that's fine. I can always scale up my titles to where I have it all fit in there. Kind of like that. That's cool. So what I want to do here is grab both of these layers and pre-compose them. And, you know, we'll just call the seamless title, whatever. And then we'll go back into our composition and we'll go to composition settings. And this time we'll reverse the width and height. We'll go set the height to 1920 and set the height to 720. Okay. Then we'll go to effect perspective and we're going to grab CC cylinder. And then we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation and we'll set this to 90 degrees. Or actually, uh, we'll do negative 90 degrees. Perfect. And, you know, that's pretty much it. We can come here to our lighting shading and we can, you know, work on, uh, you know, where our lighting should be at and whatnot. It's completely up to you how you want that to work out. Perfect. Okay. So now that's set up, we'll go here and pre compose this layer again. Move all attributes to new composition, and I'll just call this donut. All right. Then now we can go back up to composition, composition settings, and set this back to your regular, you know, whatever your composition settings need to be, 1920 by 1080. This doesn't matter. This does not have to be specific. All right. So now what we'll do is grab our layer, go to effect, distort, and we're going to grab polar coordinates. And we'll set the interpolation up to 100% and then set the reactive polar. Now you have a donut. Yum. And, and it's also nice and animating. And what we'll do here is we can turn this into a 3D layer. And we can duplicate it. And then we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. We can kind of cheat this a little bit. And then, you know, just move the position over. Kind of like this. You know, go to the first layer here. Figure out how we want to rotate these. And now you have two donuts or two wedding rings, you know, combined together. A really unique, uh, seamless animation. It's a crazy title. So there you have it. We have those crazy titles done in this tutorial. You know, I know it seems like re kind of ridiculous, but these are really cool. And there's definitely some use for it if you really want to have an abstract message or just be unique with it. You now know how to implement these crazy title techniques. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.